It's Madden NFL 24, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Miami Dolphins and the New York Jets. All that and more coming up next. The bright lights of Broadway just to the east of us, and we are under the lights as well at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking up. Here's a punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Dolphins set to go on offense for the first time behind their 25-year-old quarterback, now in his fourth NFL season, Tua Tungavailoa. Injuries overshadowed a great season from Tua last season. He led a Miami passing game that was one of the best in the league, and even more importantly, took them to the postseason for the first time in six years. That jump they were looking for from him, it absolutely occurred. Play action, now it's Tua. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. Play action here on the first play from scrimmage. They want to see how the linebackers are going to react. Are they looking to stop the run? Or are they going to sit back in coverage? A really nice job there of going in attack mode early. And they pick up a quick first down. Tua's throw is taken in by Waddle. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, I think what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it, finds the open spot, and is available for the completion. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Well, that was his first target of the game, but it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice substantial hit to jar that catch and lose from him. Incomplete pass. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run here with Moster. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. And he's got it to about the 40. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On second down, Moster. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? If you're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Two are going to throw. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Meanwhile, Tua's throw caught by his receiver, Hill. 
Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Tua wants to throw it on second down. That's caught by Chosen. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. On third down, here comes Mostert, and he drops the ball. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? I like to credit the defense I, and the offense. I like you. And the analysts. That's perfect. So the new look Jets ready to go on offense, and it is the veteran Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. After years of flirting with the idea, the four-time MVP finally found his way out of Green Bay this offseason, guiding himself to the Jets. We know he's already a Hall of Fame lock, but this, this is a chance to add one more crowning achievement to his resume. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 18. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And able to find Alan Lazard. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Rodgers now to throw. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. So, Charles, this defense in for a tough matchup. What do you think the game plan is here tonight? Well, I think the game plan is the same as most, which is, hey, pass rushers, do your job. Coverage guys, do your job. And the linebackers are going to be a mix. Sometimes they'll drop in coverage. Sometimes they'll pressure the quarterback. But all in all, you never want to let that quarterback get a string of completions going. Because if so, they're hard to deal with, and it makes for a long evening. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now it's Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out, you've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. A three-yard gain and enough for the first down. But Charles, it's early, but that's a key third down conversion. Remember, they forced the turnover on the opening drive. Now they're in a position where they look like they'll at least get three out of this. A great example of complimentary football if they're able to cash this in, isn't it, partner? Because defense does this job, takes it away, turns over the offense. They just pick up a nice first down there. Maybe it's time to think about taking a shot at the end zone because it looks like the field goal is almost assured. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here. From the 24 now, here's second and three. Here's Rodgers to throw. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. 
Well, touch and time there are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Here's Rodgers. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 12-yard line. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Rodgers now on first down. Touchdown, Jets! Aaron Rodgers hitting Allen Lazard. And the Jets post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all, and it ends with a Jet touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They had to fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and ten. Here's Tua. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. Well, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Here's Tonga Vailoa on first and 10. Tyreek Hill's got another one. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. I like that one, partner. They go back to back with excellent gains. And really, it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised they'll come right back to him again. They haven't shown the propensity to be able to stop him. Two and now on first down. Out right, caught by Chosen. And that's good for a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And Waddle going to have a Dolphins first down as he's inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. Couple of Alabama guys there. Two and a Waddle for the Miami first. Up the middle they go with Mostert. Touchdown. 
38 yards for Raheem Mostert. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from evening this one up. A pretty well-executed run. They were telling us yesterday, Charles, they were hoping to get everybody in sync, the line, the backs, and everybody looked in sync on that play. They were in sync, and the field tilted. And that's where we get the term running downhill because when you've got that kind of momentum and everyone's doing it properly, as you just described, it does feel like they are coming from downhill to you as a defender, and that is really hard to stop. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter, get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. And he's able to break out of one tackle but then quickly brought down. So the completion good for just three. And yeah, that'll bring up second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. So just three yards on the completion there. And now it's third and four. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Rodgers. And this is going to be incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. Fair catch signal four and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it'll be Dolphin football. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. 58 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So from the 37, here's second down and three. Throwing now is Tugavailoa. And his throw here is incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they're throwing it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball to come in his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Tug of Iloa going to try and throw on third down. Open man is well complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. 
On the move past the 40. And all the way down to the 33-yard line. 25 yards there on the catch and run. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10. Down at the 33. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. In every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to pass to him. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins have taken the lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. to the field goal. Here comes Sanders to kick it away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. And within trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get in the field goal range. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Across midfield. And he'll even avoid the contact in the end as he will finally slide to a halt. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now Rodgers. Wilson's got it complete. They'll get it inside the 20. And he's all the way down to the 13-yard line. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing is Rodgers. And he'll just get rid of it. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football.
This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. And he's got it. And the Jets are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. Zerline's kick is up and through. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard and taken down just past the 20 at about the 21 yard line here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand-new, shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. On first down, Rodgers. Finding Hardman here over the middle. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. He was worried about the smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. On first and ten, it's Hall. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. To throw, it's Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. He's across midfield. Look at the big man rumble. And finally taken down at the 20-yard line. 
Big yardage that time for the Jets. 44 yards. You just had the feeling that sooner or later someone was going to come up with that one play. Neither team has really done a whole lot offensively, but here's one that pays off to the tune of big yardage, and it's one that could maybe get this group in gear. So a big play as it gets them all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Working from the gun, Rodgers. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. On play action, it's Rodgers. And it's caught. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. He's up to 70 yards receiving now as that last catch gets him a first down. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. They'll run with her. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Jets have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Zerline now for the PAT. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. That drive goes 80 yards in six plays. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. But Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored. Now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answer and score. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. 66 yards rushing for him now at this point. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. Tua looking to throw on third and two. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. They fake the handoff, now Tua. And this one is incomplete. That open man that time, man, put a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. After an incomplete pass,
pass on second down. That'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now Tua. He is going to find Hill here. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him. In the all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Raheem Mostert with his second touchdown of the night. And the Dolphins are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter. That has them an extra point away from tying things up. And partner, this is pretty much what they envisioned when they were sitting there in the locker room thinking about getting things going to start here in the third quarter. Getting out there, a field goal would have been fine. But going ahead and scoring here, extra point away from tying things up. That's exactly how they drew it up on the board. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. Here's Mecole Hardman. Fields it right around the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And these two teams have traded touchdowns so far with their first possessions here in the third quarter. So we're right back to where we started at intermission. Yeah, how about that? Tied at the half. Tied after the first two drives of the third quarter. One for each. That tells me that someone's defense has got to step up and make a big play and try and change the momentum of this game. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Jet sweep to start the drive. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there. And they'll go backwards right away. A nice stick and stop for a loss here from Jalen Phillips. As a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. Rodgers throw into the hands here of Hardman. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? He's able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Throwing now is Rodgers. And that is incomplete after watching him drop that slant I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now you can't run with the ball until you catch it trying to get those rack yards before he secured it here's Thomas Morstead now as he'll punt it away for the second time The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. 
And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. Tua sets up to pass it. That's over the middle, caught by Chosen. Quick slant there, gets him the first down, six yards on the play. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. On the handoff, this is Moster. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Got a man, it's Waddle complete. Room to maneuver at the 35. Then he will finally be taken down. But how about that play? It's a big one on the final act of the third quarter. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll run right side with Moster. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. 117 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Tua wants to throw it on second down, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot, forcing the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. And now Moster is going to be stopped up short. He did not get there. They end up getting stuffed twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. Got to kick it, right? I mean, even the short yardage, you, you boot this thing, don't you? Yeah, but I know how aggressive you are. I know what you want. You want to go for it, don't you? You're feeling it, aren't you? Yeah, but treat it like a football game, not like Madden. I like that. Fight the temptation, kick the field goal, because if you go for it and don't get it, you put a lot on your defense in a short amount of time. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to break our fourth quarter time. The kick by Sanders is good, and the Dolphins have taken the lead here in the fourth. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The New York set to take the field. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 23. 
He'll give it to Hall to start the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second down, here's Rodgers. Throw right side, Wilson. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Play action. Rodgers. This one finds Wilson downfield. Now he's free at the 35. And he'll be first out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. Big yardage that time for the Jets. And even 50 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line. And we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop. And that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Straight ahead is Hall. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Rodgers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. The offense on third down tonight. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. And a nice job there defensively to contain him and get him to the ground a few yards short of the first down marker. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly and neither did he. They got to him just in time and now that forced him to make a decision for this fourth down call. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. And here comes Raheem Mostert in the Miami offense. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see him back. Just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there's going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and ten. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. I like what I'm seeing from them here. Tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. Two and now on first down. Out right, caught by Chosen. From the 46, here's second and three. 
Now a give to Mostert running right. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. 124 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Second down, eight yards to go. Tua. They'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first. And they are knocking on the door. Field goal range now. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Mostert with a carry on first down, but he is not going anywhere as he is brought down well behind the line of scrimmage. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Here's Tua. Second down. Here's Mostert again. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Well, this crowd trying to force a false start here. Third and inches. Now Tua. Once again, it's Mostert. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Throwing Tua on first and ten. It's Mostert. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's first and goal. Here's Mostert. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Raheem Mostert, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins have broken our tie and have taken a fourth-quarter lead. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and they will take a seven-point lead. Jason now after the touchdown, line. ready to kick it away is Sanders. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So now Rodgers with a new team, but in a spot he's been before. Down on the scoreboard, a minute 12 to go. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10.
Rodgers to throw. And that's complete to Davis. And he'll go out near midfield at the 39. Absolutely ideal there. Get a good size play and get out of bounds. Well, you saw the coaching there. That is taught and it is emphasized. Get out of bounds, understand your situation, as well as just understanding the game. Plenty of time to work with here, but the timeouts, they're gone. Here's first and ten. Now Rodgers. And he can't quite bring it in. Might have heard footsteps there across the middle. Second down. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. To throw is Rodgers. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Oh, man, late in a tight ball game, every play so critical, you feel like you've got to find a way to come up with that football. That was put in a great spot, but it just didn't want to stick in his hands. That's a big letdown. Now the defense loses him. It's complete. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Oh, man, that could wind up being the key play of the ball game right there. Defensively here, you know they've got no timeouts. You've got to keep them away from the sidelines. Here, not only do they get the big yardage, but they get out of bounds as well. Back to throw, Rodgers. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And the Dolphins have just about sewn up this football game. Ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs. Now a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Mostert. And he's up past the 10 to about the 12. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And he is going to have a Miami first down, and the Dolphins are going to win the football game. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From MetLife Stadium, good night, everybody.